Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 55. So, as you can see from how this extends way out into the distance, I have effectively finished my giant hydroelectric power plant that has been my goal to build since I started this map. However, I ran into a small problem. And the small problem that I ran into is, as you can tell, I'm only getting two frames a second. As it turns out, Minecraft does not support my having 33,264 active water generators running at the same time. Yes, that number is correct. That's 63 rooms with a room being defined as this part between the torches. 11 towers per room, 12 generators per tower. Works out to 60, uh, um, 33,264 water generators. So, yeah. That didn't quite work out the way I had intended. But, oh well. What happened is that after I closed part 54, if you watch the end of it, I say I'm next thing I'm going to do is build the rest of the rooms. After I finished doing all the excavation and building the shells for each room, then I got to the point where I was ready to add the water and the water generators themselves. However, what happened was I discovered that you can't make builder templates that have industrial craft items in them because when you try to put them into your um, builder the game will crash and you'll have to use MC Edit to remove the builders from your world. So that didn't work and since I wasn't going to build them by hand due to the sheer number of them and how long they take to build I simply went ahead and used MC Edit to make them all and then I discovered that it's simply not practical to have that many of them. So, since my goal is to have power, lots and lots and lots of electrical power so I can run my base and stuff, I have decided to use MC Edit again to pull all these wire generators out, and I'm going to build something else instead. So, here we are in MC Edit and you can more clearly see what exactly I've done here. So there's my base and you can see here's my staircase, there's my C entrance, uh, my main entrance is over there, and then ignore all this, it doesn't read the mod items very well. This is that little obsidian thing, but so here's the first couple rooms and then it's nine across. So if I so from this room here all the way to this room here is nine and then from this corner all the way to that corner is seven. So it's seven going this direction and nine going this direction. And that makes sixty three and yeah. So as you can see it it's quite a big project and I really liked how the builders would place the torches because then I could have all the torches in symmetrical order and all that. So it worked out great and I'm quite happy with it. It just didn't work so that was a little disappointing but you know hey it was kind of fun and now I'm going to do something different. So yeah. So after a great deal of testing I finally settled on this design. It uses water mills in their man configuration and it mixes in some red power 2 stuff to make it work. What it is is it's five water mills by four water mills. So it's 20 water mills per module, three high, and then it's got this setup where it's got the infinite water spring with a timer. It's got, if I come around his side here, this is a deployer. It deploys, it fills the buckets, and then 
This pulls only full buckets out, sends them to machines. This retriever over here is set to only pull empty buckets, send them back to the deployer, and it repeats infin infinitely. I have, let's see, I have 12 of them, and all working in sync, they are actually enough to fill up my MFSUs here. I actually downstep the power, well, it's disconnected at the moment, because I decided I could record it, but it's, I originally have MFEs running up to my base, but I realized that that wastes its power by forcing it down to only 128 per tick instead of the full 512 that it could be. Because I've been having my mass fabs running. Because this setup, as it is right now, when I had it hooked up using MFEs, was running both my mass fabs successfully while still filling these MFSUs. I'm going to put MFSUs down all through the pipe and see if I can still do that. Over here, this is nothing fancy. This is just a stack of thermopiles that runs floor to ceiling. It um, it actually goes farther down. It goes all the way down to bedrock and all the way up to the ceiling that I mined out. It, it, come on, there we go. It actually can't go very much higher before it breaks it out into the surface. So that's good. That keeps, that stack of thermopiles provides the blutricity for all of the Red Power 2 stuff. And, oh, I think I actually broke the cable. I just noticed that. Okay, let's fix that real quick here. Actually, I'm going to need smooth stone for that. But you also might notice if you remember what I had named here, that the um, the names are different for my teleport pipes. That is because, probably due to all of my MC editing that I did, I had to actually rebuild my teleport pipe network because, for whatever reason, they basically deleted themselves. And they just showed up as... Well, I mean, if you mouse over them, there was a hitbox, but they weren't there, basically. Anyway, so I had to um, replace them all. <laughs> Email. I had to replace them all, and since I didn't, I couldn't actually remember how I had them set up originally, I ended up just removing them all and replacing them in a more efficient pattern. Because the method I had them in a originally was kind of haphazard because I originally didn't have that many of them so I could just have connections here and there and it worked but eventually I got complicated to the point where it wasn't very feasible so I've rearranged them and reorganized them so it's much more organized now and I'll show that in a minute over here I started to build another module when I decided to actually go ahead and plug it in to my base and see if it was working and I learned that to my great delight it did seem to be working so I'm going to actually go back up to my base now and make four more MFSUs and reconnect it to my base because it's actually not connected to my base at the moment which is not very useful It also help if I can climb the ladder. There we go. Yeah, see, I've already drained this MFSU. 
because I've got the mass fabs running, which I'm going to turn them off for the moment. According, as you can see from the sign, the bottom row is sources, top row is destinations, in quotes, because it's not exactly accurate. Because what defines a source and what defines a destination and all that. This is storage tower. So this right here is what I'm calling the hub. It connects most of my teleport pipes to my other teleport pipes. So this pipe connects to my storage tower. This pipe connects to the crafting area, which because there's a teleport pipe back there that connects to the hub. This connects to over here, the teleport pipe behind the furnaces. This connects to a teleport pipe out in right near my sorting area where I've got my sorting machine and my storage area. That area there's chest there that I connected. And finally, this connects to my smooth stone uh, gen storage back right behind this wall. I have three chests full of smooth stone. That is my remote access pipe. It's red because it's not connected to anything. When I plop down my teleport pipe like you saw a minute ago, that's what I connect to. This is, if I click it here, my ore transfer hub access. That pipe is connected to a provider pipe back there, which I'll actually go back and show it to you. I come back over here. It is connected to that pipe right there. And what it does is, if I pull out my wrench here, get around to the other side so I can actually reach it. It stocks copper, tin, iron, gold, and silver. So if I put any of those ores into any of my chests, anywhere in my base, this pipe pulls them out, pushes them into this chest, and then that retriever and the sorting machine that's up there, you know, will crush them, smelt them, whatever they require, according to these rules. So black is stuff to go to the macerators, blue goes to the furnaces, yellow goes to the compressor, I think. Yeah, yellow goes to the compressor, and then green is a special denotation for smooth stone that sends it to my three smooth stone chests up there. And if they're all full, it sends them through that pipe there, which ultimately ends in a fire pit to burn it so I because I have no use for it. I moved that door out and tweaked this cable a bit while I was here. This door actually doesn't go anywhere, it just leads into a cave that is basically it's basically it's a holdover from a previous era. And, I've, and you can see why I've got my uh, various tubes running through everything. The um, there are a couple of pipes that teleport pipes that aren't connected to the hub. Like for instance, this one. This one is connected directly to the cobblestone generator. It's actually this is actually off at the moment. See, it says receive false. If I set it to true, hopefully this will work. This one sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. I haven't quite figured out why it doesn't always work. At any rate, it um, is ideally is connected to my. Um, not sure why that's there. My cobblestone generator, and it will feed cobblestone into my smelting array, which will then smelt it into smooth stone and fill the double chest of smooth stone. It's off the moment because if I have it on, it overloads my furnaces and it makes it difficult. Well, actually it doesn't overload my furnaces, it overloads the mechanism that sorts the stuff. 
the retriever and whatnot, because the retriever can only pull items from the chest so fast. And so if I have it trying to pull lots and lots of smooth, you know, cobblestone out to smelt it, and then smooth stone to send it to the chest, it gets jammed. So let's see. So that still works. Anyway, so those MFSUs. So up there, that hasn't changed. I mean, oh, actually, let me add that teleport pipe is directly connected to that teleport pipe because the way I've set it up, this logistics pipe is the default route for any excess materials used in crafting. So for crafting, say I request two torches, the remaining two torches will go through this pipe into this chest. This is just sort of my catch-all chest for random stuff. Alright, but MFSUs. So, I've already made sure I have all the materials, so all I have to do is click that, click that, request. Request successful. Now I just watch, and as you can see, it's pulling tons of resources. Diamond, rubber, lapis, it's just pulling everything. And actually, yeah, see, it's pulling it from the main area, because some because all that rubber, for example, is in my main crafting area. It's pulling it out and sending it to the appropriate teleport pipe. It's teleporting it back behind that wall there, and then it's feeding up into the crafting area and filling the workbenches. And I think I saw one go by. Looks like it's making a lot of copper cables. Because that's what copper and rubber are used for. I'm not sure what the redstone would be used for, though. Now just rubber and redstone. A lot of rubber and redstone. Takes a lot to make an MFSU. And I just requested four of them. Oh, there it goes. Finally. I was beginning to be concerned it might have been bugged. Okay. And, there you go. Four MFSUs. I'm probably poor now. Let's see. How much rubber do I have left? Okay, I still got over a thousand of rubber. That's good. 17,000 tin, 15,000 copper. I actually had to make, in my storage tower, a whole extra, like, two layers down just for the tin and copper. And, oh, I think I forgot. These three teleport pipes are inactive because they're the ones that would connect to builders. So there's builder supply one, supply two, supply three. So that's how that works. And then these four, the bottom three, are quarry drop-offs. So if I've got a quarry running, it'll drop off to one of these bottom three and it'll feed to this one that sends it directly to that teleport pipe there, which feeds it to this chest, which pulls it out, sorts it, sends it to the storage tower. Oh, and since I'm here, this is where the smooth stone that I trash ends up, and then it goes it goes into this chest, is pulled out by these redstone engines, and then is dumped down there to the fire pit. And this should be on... Oh, I know, because it doesn't have any power. Okay, I was going to say. Uh, this is my sorting area hub access chest, as you can see. And, you know, over there, down there is my storage tower. Hub access. Okay. So I'm going to plant these MFSUs. And let's see, let's start with this one. So let me pull out my wrench. Okay. And I have to be delicate because I don't want to actually break anything. 
anything. So I have to think this through because I don't want anything to explode on me. Click that. Click that. Okay, so go ahead and wait. That set up for medium voltage. Um, I'm actually going to need a few transformers. I could save trouble by turning using only one transformer for right here. And oh yeah, I forgot. I <laughs> you didn't see that. I should really fix this actually now that I think about it. All right, let's grab some torches. Tweak this cable here so I can make it look nicer. This cable is the cable that feeds over here through this MFE right down here to these three industrial engines that then provide power to these power teleport pipes that will then be hooked up alongside the builder or the quarry or whatever to provide them with power. They're all off at the moment, obviously. This is my cobblestone generator. I have two of them, actually. They're jammed at the moment because this chest is full. But in the event that I wanted cobblestone, this connects to the other one in the sorting area. Well, not sorting area. Right next to the um, smelter area. Yeah. This is a extra way of getting cobblestone to that same chest. I used um, mag pipes instead of um, teleport pipes because I was having difficulty, like I said before, with the teleport pipes. Anyway, so I will come over here. And pick up this cable here. And I grab my smooth stone, put it down like that. Not right there. Okay. And I get that. So. Actually, bring it one more block and then I can go straight up. I just gotta move this over a block. I think I will actually save a cable in the long run here. That's interesting. I think I I honestly cannot remember at this point, but I think I originally did it that way because I think there was a wall that obviously is no longer here. So yeah, I just saved two cables. Of course, yeah, can't get through. All right, now I need a medium voltage transformer because there's going to be an MFSU here so I'll bust that for the moment and I'll plant this down like so orient it so it's facing up it's not connected in fact you know what I'm going to do real quick I'm gonna come down here uh, where's the thing oh, ooh, glass fiber cable pick that up um, let's see, see, oh, I'm in the wrong spot, that's what the problem is, there we go, come down here, and I'm going to turn this whole thing off, because this is the master cutoff switch, of which there are like several, um, okay, put that there, so now I'm feeding high voltage up the line, So let's climb back up there and finish wiring this. Alright, we can put the floor back now. Like so. And do I have a. Yes, I do. I thought I had a staircase in my inventory. There we go. 
and I can seal that off as well. Because remember, there used to be like a walkway there back when the floor was right there too, before I dug all that area out. And that was a long time ago. Oh, not what I wanted. There we go. Okay. And actually, I need to be on the other side. Crawl under the cable. Okay. So now I need to have an. So I can put this cable here. But now I need to put a medium, a high voltage to medium voltage transformer. That and then because I've already got the low voltage transformer there, and that's set up for medium voltage. Right. Okay. What does it take again? Because I can't remember. Medium voltage transformers, just a machine block and two copper cables. Well, that's simple. Okay, so I will grab my teleport pipe. It's up to true. Logistics pipe. And let's see, do I happen to have a handy. Let's see. I obviously haven't programmed the recipe in. Ah, machine block. Take one of that. And where's the cable? Should have some leftover cable, yeah. I thought I, ha I thought I would have some leftover cable. Take that, and those two. Portable working, portable crafting bench. Doot, doot. Medium voltage transformer, nice. Okay. High voltage side this side, low voltage side that side. That should be good now. So that will split it into 128 going that way, 128 going that way, which will then further split it. So that's actually better, I think. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I think... Yeah, I'm going to change this ever so slightly, because I've got these three MFEs. I might as well use them for something. I will put that there, make it face that direction, put that there, go like that. So now, except, hmm... If I do it that way, then it will split it, and only 60 EUs will go to each side. Which is what I had before, and I'm going to go with that, because that seems safer. I can always change that later. It's not like it's costing me anything. Alright, so then up here, I put another MFSU. Output set that direction. Then we climb. Oh, no, then we grab my teleport pipe, and we come up here. Oops, no, you don't fall to the floor. Come up here. All right. Now for this, this is delicate because those need low voltage. So I need a transformer here to step it down. Those can take high voltage, I think. Yeah, see, this isn't taking any electricity. This can take high voltage. It's in their MFCU, obviously. And that cable feeds my teleporters. It can take high voltage. So everything can take high voltage. This feeds my mass fabs, which can take high voltage. So those are the only things that can't take high voltage. So I need a medium voltage right here. Yeah, okay. So I'll put an MFSU here, like so. And then I will, let's see here, plop this down again. Grab another machine block. And the last two cables. Like so. There we go. 
medium voltage transformer. I'll put that here. Orient away from me. Hmm. I think this will work. Huh. I might have to get my painters out. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put it here. Orient that. No, don't do that. Put it there. Orient it that way. Glass fiber cable there and there. And then I'll paint them so they don't touch. These are my um, red power painters. I need my industrial craft painters, which are over in this chest. Which... Yeah, here we go. I have yellow and I have white. And that should work. I have black, not that I'll need it. Black just is a reset. Took me a while to figure that out, actually. Okay. So, I need to Paint this yellow, I think? Yeah. And then this white. And then this yellow. And then this yellow. And then this white. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, wait, hold on. No, it's not gonna work. It's gonna connect to that. Okay. Bummer. Um... I guess plan B. Can it connect directly to the MFE? Well, not the MFE, but to the medium voltage transformer. So we pick up all this cable. We plant the cobblestone I picked up. Do that. And do that. And then I'm going to turn off the connection so I can play with it a little bit before I have to go for reels, because I don't want to break my machines. That was annoying enough to build. Okay, if this doesn't work, I'll just move it. In fact, I'm just going to move it right now. I don't really feel like testing it. Pick that up. Okay. I'll paint you white. And then I'll paint... that yellow so they don't connect. And then I'll put that there oriented the other way. Good. So now I'll take it out and put it through there. That should work just fine. And there are bat boxes back there though you can't see the behind the low voltage transformers. Okay. I tentatively think that this works. So, moment of truth. Actually, wait, before I do that, I'm gonna flip this switch. There we go. Turn that off. That way, if it fails, it'll fail one or two at a time. Not all at once. Okay. This is full, which means those two are full probably as well. This is empty. Here we go. Okay, no explosives yet. Oh, is it? Oh, there's another one it's filling. Got it, okay, cool, 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 cool. That means it's working. Right, of course, it's filling the first one in the line. Got it, okay, yeah. So I'll come up here. So if I click this one, it'll be filling. Okay. That's a little unexpected. Clearly it's filling something, so what's it filling? 
unless it's filling this MFE. Ha, it's filling the MFE. Okay. That basically means it's working. Nothing is exploded. That means there's current in this wire and in that wire, which means that it's working basically. Which means now, now this is filling. Yep, okay, this is filling. Good, good. That's how it should be. Okay, if that's filling successfully, then I'm going to go ahead and unlock these two. Good, no explosions. Okay, that's filling very slowly. And which means this is filling. Yep, which means I can do this. Awesome. Okay, still filling because, relatively speaking, it doesn't take that much power to run these idle. Yeah, see, they drained a bit of their power while I had them off, but they maintained enough of a charge. Looks like my rotary macerators ran out of charge, though. Because I've got them, the levers keep them redstoned, so they're on. Because these are all advanced machines that with you supply them with redstone power and a constant stream of EUs, and they will build up to really fast speeds. Okay then, that should be everything. So I'll probably give this a bit of time to charge, and once everything is fully charged, then I'll flip my uh, mass fabs back on, and we'll see if it works. Theoretically, they should be receiving 256 EUs each if, and it's the if if my power plant can support the output. So, and if it can't, then I'll add more. If it can, then I'll be very happy. So, yeah. So this will probably, oh, see now, okay, so everything's charged up to this point, so now it's gonna charge this, then it's gonna charge, let's see, this one. Yeah, because that one's holding at 32. That one's holding... Oh, that's interesting. It's like it's charging just faster than it's draining. Which, that almost implies... Huh. Like a output of 513 or 514 EUs. Yeah, that one's holding steady because it's this one. MS view all the way at the end that I'm draining. Yeah, draining that one. And this one only has two feeding it, so it will, of course, drain and take a while to recharge. This one and all the others are going to stay steady until they've equalized. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to sit here and let it run and run until it's back at 10 million, and then I will flip my mass fabs on and we'll see what happens. But until then, I will see you in the next part. Bye!